Here comes subtype three. These are double replacements still, and they're gas evolution reactions, right? We've had precipitates, which were solids. We've had uh, H2O, which is a liquid. And now we're going to have a gas being one of the products. And, um, and let's show you what we mean by that. Specifically, the breakdown of one of the products, that product is going to be carbonic acid, H2CO3. And if you make carbonic acid in a reaction, it spontaneously breaks down into H2O liquid plus CO2 gas. And this is the same reaction that occurs in uh, soda bottles. So when you uh, psh, open that soda bottle, that's carbon dioxide escaping. And inside of your soda, there's carbonic acid which spontaneously breaks down into water. So you get more water in your cola, your soda pop, and it makes CO2, and those are the bubbles that escape until, and that takes a little while, it takes about an hour, uh, especially when it's cold. When it's warmer, uh, your soda will go flat faster because this will be faster. Anyway, so what we're gonna see, and we do this example down here, is that one of our products is going to be carbonic acid and we will cross it out and write these two in our overall reaction and then use that through our TIE and our NIE. Let's show you what I mean. So this is going to be a reaction between sodium bicarbonate. Bicarbonate is more uh, properly called uh, sodium or uh, hydrogen carbonate, but bicarbonate's pretty popular, so we're going to go ahead and use it. And uh, hydrochloric acid is HCl. Let's put those together. This has sodium in it. Anything with sodium in it or any group one or ammonium is soluble, so it gets the aqueous. HCl is a strong electrolyte, strong acid. It is also aqueous. Break this down. We've already got our two ions here. From previous examples, we know that we've got hydrogen ion, H plus, and chloride ion. Still doing double replacements. Switch partners. So one of them is going to be NaCl, which is totally soluble. And the other one is going to be H plus, plus HCO3 minus, which lo and behold is carbonic acid. And that is aqueous, uh, although it doesn't really matter because as soon as we write it, we're gonna write cross it out because it spontaneously breaks down into water and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide being the gas that is a gas evolution reaction or at least one of the gases that you can make. From here, <clears throat> the process is identical to what we've already done. TIE says break up strong electrolytes into ions, one, two, three strong electrolytes. Liquid, solids, and gases don't break up. And where we're going with this is that we're gonna take here and here make carbonic acid and we're going to be that will spontaneously break down and we will show that we are making more covalent bonds this is a chemical reaction going into my third color here so all my oh balance almost forgot to balance good news it is balanced uh, good news for me anyway so now we don't nothing to do but break it down we get our sodium ion, which is aqueous, our bicarbonate ion, or hydrogen carbonate ion. I know, so uh, if you put it into the homework, you can't write hydrogen carbonate, I don't think, I think, or you can't write bicarbonate, you can only write hydrogen carbonate. Break them down into their ions. Break it down, it's aqueous into its ions.
and solids, liquids, and gases stay together. All right, it's a green pen, but it actually writes black. That's what the uh, duct tape means. Let's look for spectator ions. Sodium, sodium. Awful lot of sodium ions getting crossed out here. Chloride, chloride gets crossed out as well. Nothing else here. And what we're left with is our hydrogen carbonate ion plus our hydrogen ion make H2O and CO2 in a process that we do not have to understand how this happens. But we can see that since both of these are, let's see, so there's an H that's by itself, and now it's with another H and an O. We've got bonds being broken here from this H over here. So this is going to be covalent bonds being made, broken and then made. So just say broken and made this uh, for this chemical reaction. Covalent bonds broken and made. And that's what this net ionic equation is showing us. Here we've got another example. In this example, so um, we're actually going to form, um, let's, well, let's see. So we've got sodium and you may have to look, we don't talk about sulfite so much, but it turns out it's SO3 two minus, it is on your nomenclature list. Nitric acid is HNO3. It's the same process slightly different results as we will see. So I have a plus one and a minus two. That means I need two sodiums, two separate sodium ions. Anything with sodium in it is soluble. Now I've got uh, my nitric acid. And we switch partners. And the partners here are going to be H plus and NO3 minus. So let's just write that out. And now I've got my H plus and my SO3 two minus. I need two H pluses to go with that because my compounds must still be neutral or all the positive and negative charges have to cancel out. That's gonna be an aqueous species, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then my other one here is sodium nitrite. Sodium nitrate, sorry. That's a plus one minus one for the ions, and that is aqueous. Now we're under the gas heading here, and it turns out that H2SO3, which looks a lot like uh, carbonic acid, it's actually called sulfurous acid. You don't have to know that. But H2CO, H2SO3 spontaneously breaks down into H2O and SO2, which is a gas. And uh, SO2 gas is sulfur dioxide, and we have to replace that. And that's the same trick or the same thing to remember as we did with the carbonic acid. Now, this is not part of soda pop, which is good because I think it would poison us. <laughs> um, and now we have our liquid and our gas, just like the last page. And those will not cancel out. Those will be part of our NIE if you're starting to see how this process goes. Um, I'm going to ask you to finish the remainder of this slide and I will be checking it. I think that's the last one for this part.